being part of a social group has multiple health benefits, both psychologically and physically. Hello, my name is Dr. Andrew McNeil, and I'm a senior lecturer in psychology at Northumbria University in Newcastle. And I want to talk to you about the importance of developing a strong social identity. But first of all, let's have a think about what a social identity is. Think about yourself for a moment. Who are you? When you start to think about that question, you can answer it in terms of individual characteristics that are unique to you. But at some point, you're going to start hitting on things that define you in terms of the groups that you belong to. And you discover that who you are is fundamentally comprised of group identities, social identities. We identify ourselves as football fans. We identify ourselves as members of a national group. We identify ourselves as members of a religious community. All of these things are social identities. Now, researchers have recently discovered that social identities are really important for our health. Social psychologists refer to this as the social cure. Researchers at various universities and most prominently at the University of Queensland in Australia, have talked about how being part of a social group has multiple health benefits, both psychologically and physically. This is the social cure. And they have discovered that the more groups we are part of, then the more healthy we are likely to be. Why is this? Well, it's predominantly because of the fact that being part of groups buffers the effects of stress upon us. If we go through a stressful event, a difficult transition of some sort, having people around us from a variety of groups is really important in enabling us to face those challenges and to overcome those challenges because those other people then help us to become more resilient. Right now, you're going through a transition. You're leaving home, you're going to university. Maybe it's not far from home. Maybe it's the other side of the world. Either way, it is a transition. And one of the ways that you can cope with that transition is by having a strong social identity. And there's three ways in which you can actually have a strong social identity. First of all, you want to maintain social links. You'll have communities back home, family, school friends, other friends, interest groups, clubs, societies that you have been part of in your home community. You want to maintain those links. And one of the great things about the internet is that it enables you, even if you're not physically there, to maintain those links. Those people back home are rooting for you and it's important to maintain a connection with them. Secondly, maintain a sense of continuity uh, between who you used to be back home and who you're going to be now at university. So find other groups that are similar in some ways to the groups that you were part of, whether that's sports teams or faith groups or other interest groups, find other communities at university that are going to be similar to that, that's going to maintain a sense of continuity between who you used to be back home and who you are now moving forwards. But thirdly, I would say is use this opportunity at university to explore new things that you're interested in, but maybe you haven't had an opportunity to pursue before. Find new societies, new groups that you can be part of and develop your sense of self, develop your social identity, your social networks, so that you're going to have new communities that develop you in new and interesting ways.